adding text annotations to your YouTube after it's been uploaded. In this example, I've created a YouTube that is just a slideshow. And so there's no voice over and there's no annotations in it, but I'm going to take this opportunity to put some in myself. I went into the annotation section and the video itself starts playing. And these are a number of pictures from some work I'm doing. And so now I'm going to select the option to add an annotation. And there's a timeline that's running right now that's showing what I have in my video. I can stop that by clicking this button to turn it off. And I can move through my video by using this key and it moves interactively. You'll see the photographs that are being used in this particular video that I created. This is a video taken from photos that I have. And let's look at some of the features that you can add. You can add a title. And when you open any of these annotation features, you determine what you're going to put in them over in the side box. And I'm going to say this is the meeting room. We're going to have the um, virtual space where people can meet and talk even at a distance. So this is the meeting room, but right now you'll see I have such a big font that it's kind of going off the page. Now this is a title, so they do want big fonts, but I've made it a little bit smaller. Now when I put in an annotation, there's a certain amount of time it will play, and I can either adjust that through these timers here, or I can interactively click and drag the annotation. And I can even move the annotation. I just moved it so that it's not going to play when you see this seat. So if I slide back, you'll see the annotation is now playing at the screenshot of the young man who's actually doing the work in Africa. I can add other annotations, and pretty much you go through the same process. You determine where you want to put the annotation. And then, let me see, I'm in the middle of a transition. Let's move over a little bit. And this is somebody putting in a pump. And let's put, in this case, a note here. So um, this man is setting up a pump. And this is a very arid part of Africa. As before, I would determine where I want this in my timeline, and I could do it interactively, or I could set the timing here. I can determine the colors of the font, the fill of the background, and as I work, you'll see this coming and being filled in behind. Now, I can also interactively determine where these annotations will be placed. So you have several limited annotations that you can add even when you're in the YouTube editor itself. And it's very helpful in a case like the slideshow where I don't have a voiceover. These annotations can help people understand what's going on. And I think you've probably figured out a lot of what you can do here. But if you want to, you could uh, delete one of your annotations and you would do it that way. Or you could do things interactively at the timeline itself. You know, I'm clicking and dragging the time which this particular um, annotation is going to be shown. When you're finished with any of your annotations and you want to make them permanent, you would save them and then your option goes to publishing them. And then they become available to the public. Ensure that your YouTube communicates its message effectively.